Okay, another Fusion 360 uh, tutorial. This is a really pretty simple one as well. Using um, a couple of tools you already used. This is a top, and we're going to produce this uh, in three parts. We're going to have the the, uh, the the tip where it spins, and then because we can't print this all at once without it creating a bunch of supports because it would be floating there. We're going to print this part uh, flat and then we can turn the um, tip over and then we can glue it to it. So we're going to print it in two parts. So let's get started. Uh, file new design. Turn on your origins. I'm going to flip it around so I can see the front, the bottom uh, construction plane. And I'm going to start with I'm going to start with a cylinder. Okay, There are many ways to do the point, but I'm going to start with a cylinder. I'm going to put it right in the middle, and I'm going to say, let's say about, let's say it is 10, and I'm going to make it a centimeter high, too. I say OK. Now, I don't need my Don't need my origins right now. I'm going to turn them off. All right. Now this is kind of a, a way you can trick. There's many ways to make the a point, like a a pyramid or a cone. I'm sorry, but this would be one of them. You get in there and we just fillet it. Oh no, maybe not a fillet. Not a fillet. We're not filling it. Cancel. We're going to do a camphor. Let's try that. Let's go in two, three. You just have to check. That's not all the way in. I'm gonna get, gotta get closer. It won't let me zoom in. There we go. So let's try four, five, five. So five millimeters on that gives a nice point. It's good to go. This place will glue this onto the bottom of that. So uh, the next thing we need to do is create. Um, we're gonna create a sketch, and we're gonna create the sketch on top of this. Flip me around. Uh, you can create uh, a sketch of any type for this this top. I mean, if you wanted to, you could, um, you know, create a crazy um, something like that, or just a circle, or a rectangle, or a square. Um, you could draw, draw it freehand. The way I I'm going to show you how to do it is um, just doing a circle. Here we go. Come up. Let's go out. Let's make it five fifty centimeters. Okay. Then before I extrude this, I'm going to put some decorations into it using the circle pattern tool. The circle pattern tool. So uh, in my design here, um, I drew this this shape right here, and then I did a pattern just like in the fitter just spinner using this center as a as a, the center point. So. I'm going to try something a little bit different. Okay, let's try a, um, let's try the spine tool. Make some interesting shapes. Even get it to whistle or something like that. Okay, there is a, a tool. Uh, you use a, ellipses, you can put circles, but we're going to use the circular tool again. Say, hey, I want to make a circle out of that. The center point is right here. If the sketch palette gets in the way, just put it over there. That's three. That's four. That's five. That's six. I don't want to put too much. But let's go with that. Now I can exit the sketch. And I can click the middle and just use the extrude tool. Let's bring it up. Five centimeters or five millimeters. I don't think I think that's actually a little bit bigger. Okay. I'm gonna double click on the extrude and say three. Make it a little thinner. Okay, that's a little bit better. Oh, I forgot to extrude the center, so I'm going to double click on that, bring it back up, and just in the profiles, I'm just going to include that one. 
Okay, I want a new body because I want to be able to um, print it. Um, I could fillet or uh, camphor the edges if I wanted to to make them um, a little bit more smoother. Let's go in three and see what does there. Oh, that goes in way too much. So I'll go to two. One. One. So you just play around with those those uh, numbers. And the last thing I do is I could either draw the spinning part or I could just do a cylinder on the top here. This thing maybe three millimeters. And I'll make it a make it a little bit bigger, centimeter line. Okay. So if you want to modify it, remember you go into a, the appearance and you duplicate these and then you can change the color. Done. So I make it pink. Here we go. Done. Since this is a different body, you can throw that in there. Um, and I, I basically got two bodies. I got the top part in this that we can print very easily, and this one we can turn over and print very easily. Thank you very much.